Good morning, this is the Bravo Dual Boiler BS900 and in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the machine showing you how it works and teaching you a few things um, So as you saw in the photos, this one's in very good condition It's got some scratches around the front and the, um, the left side but generally very very clean, especially for its age and it's fully functional uh, I'll be doing a full service before the sale um, The machine is on now and it's up to temperature so it's at 93 degrees um, you can actually tell the machine to wake up in the morning for you, um, which, it, which is what it did today. Um, it has a built-in clock. Um, so keeping the machine on for 10-15 minutes will ensure it's really it's hot. Uh, so that includes like the handle, the top lid if you want to put your cups on top, and the actual boiler and steam. Uh, so once you see 93, that's when it's ready, when, when the buttons stop blinking, or if you Turn on the steam and the steam is ready to go. That's that's ready to go. Um, if you just turned it on and it just got up to temperature and you want to warm up the machine, you can run a blank shot. So a blank shot is just pressing the double cup button and running some water through the handle into the cup just to warm things up. So. You can do that once or twice. And the machine also has a timer. So it has a timer showing you how many seconds your shot has, been, has, take, has taken, um, which is really handy. I'm going to put this on the side. Uh, I'm going to keep the cup uh, with hot water to stay warm. And I'm going to take out the pour filter. I'm going to dry it. now it's time to uh, grind the coffee. So this is the double basket. Um, it takes about 18 to 20 grams of coffee. Um, I'm going to be dosing 20 grams in this video. You can use a scale to be sure. I think a, a scale will be really um, useful for you to make, your, make sure your coffees are consistent. Uh, so you can use a scale to measure the coffee going in and the coffee coming out. So. Um, I'm going to use a scale to show you how I am used to measuring my coffee. So you put in the handle, you tear it, and you start grinding. And you want to you want to adjust your grinder to the correct settings in terms of the grind size, and you want to use fresh beans. If you're not using fresh beans, it's a uh, it's going to make a huge difference. So, and you want to. Be sure to use the correct grind size. If the grind size is too fine, coffee will be coming out very slow. If it's too coarse, coffee will be coming out very quick. So you have to put it in the right range. Great, so that's 20.1 grams. Just double checking. Yeah, that's very good. Um, grab the tamper. You want to make sure to flatten the coffee before pressing it. You, you don't want to press on an uneven surface. So maybe use your finger or your palm just to sort of make it approximately flat and then press it nice and firm. You can put it on the, on the, on the counter to support your, your weight. So I'm just doing it here, it doesn't matter. Make sure you keep it level. You don't want it to be wonky and make sure you um, apply even pressure. And at the end, if you have the correct dose, about 18 to 20 grams, the tamper should be going as deep as this silver cap here. So this is the depth of the tamper, as you see, when you have the correct dose, this silver cap here. Um, anyway, clean the edges and lock it in. You don't have to lock it in too tight, I mean, dead center is more than enough. Uh, it will let you push it further, but I wouldn't push it if I didn't have to. So dead center, more than tight enough, it's not going to come off. Um, okay, so we're ready to make an espresso uh, and, the, and froth some milk, so let's do that. I'm just going to fill it with some water because it's near empty. Okay. 
So you can take out, take out the water tank to fill it, but the easier way is to fill it from the front. There's this compartment here. Very nice, and you can see the water from here. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna dump this in the sink. There's also the hot water tap over here, if you want to use that to um, maybe make a long black Americano coffee or to warm up your cups or make some tea, whatever you want. It's very nice. So we're going to use that to um, add a little sugar to my coffee. The water helps it dissolve, so I like to do that. If you like syrups or equal or sugar, I recommend adding it before the espresso so that the espresso mixes nicely as it comes down. Great. Now I'm going to use the scale once more to measure the output. So we put 20 grams in. We want to be getting double that in terms of liquid coffee. So we will program the, the machine to give us, um, let's say, about 40 grams. So you can do that by putting the scale and the cup underneath and stopping the, the shot when you reach 40 grams, or you can do it by eye. I'm going to do it by eye because I'm used to the quantity. Uh, unless... Yeah, it's a little bit tough with this sort of mug because it's... Messy. Yeah, so you need a shorter, like espresso shot cup to, to do this. Um, so that's why I'm going to do it the other way, where you tear the cup or the scale, and then you make the coffee and then you measure it afterwards. So the way you program the button, for example, the double cup, you go to the menu. Um, go to shot volume, two cup, and then make the coffee, and then stop it when you're happy with the, the actual volume that it gives you. The time is there as a guide, but the time is not what it saves. Look at the pressure gauge, you want it to be around 8 to 9 bars. Very good, it's at 8 bars at the moment. Coffee is flowing nice and smooth, I don't know if you can see. Got flow nice and smooth. Um, and I'm going to stop it right about there. So 35 seconds that took. Let's see how, how many grams of coffee that was. That was 41 grams. I'm happy with that. Let me show you. 41 grams, and we've got some nice crema. Um, if I ground the coffee a little bit finer, so maybe if I made this one step finer, probably would have gotten better results. Um, like a slower, slower flow. That's how you control the flow by changing the grind size. And of course, making sure you're using fresh beans. I'm not using fresh beans, I'm using supermarket beans. Anyway, um, once that's done, I'm going to knock it off in the bin and then run a, another black shot. Make sure you exit the menu. Now I'm going to run a blank shot to rinse the grip head and the, the pour filter, sort of two birds one stone. Um, that's very good. So this will clean the shower screen as well um, and remove any coffee grounds and oils that are stuck up there. And you can also run a blank shot, sorry, run a um, back flush maybe at the end of the week or at the end of the month when the machine reminds you. It'll actually remind you when to do the cleaning cycle, so that's very nice. Um, and that's just putting the rubber disc, putting some soap in the handle and um, pressurizing the machine and then that will clean up any, any um, grounds. That's how you do it. And then when it turns off, all the water will go into the tray and that's sort of it's a cleansing cycle. Um, that's that and of course this is a dual boiler so the, the, the advantage of this is that you can make coffee and thin. Uh, but I just 
for the sake of the video, I chose to do one and the other separately. Um, so we can focus on one thing at a time. Now to the milk. Um, so you want to get like a metal jug, one that's a, a good conductor of heat, so you can feel the temperature through the jug. Um, and you want to fill the jug roughly halfway. This is the technique that I'm going to be using. So um, with the wand at an angle, sort of, and the tip close to the surface, I'm going to try to spin the milk in sort of like a vortex so that it sort of incorporates air as it spins and gives you that fluffy texture. And I'm going to stop it when it's too hot to touch, so right about there, that's too hot to touch, so it's about 60 degrees Celsius. And then you want to purge, this is very important, you want to purge before and after. So before, just to get rid of any steam, any like water built up before you steam your milk, and after to get rid of any milk. And of course you want to wipe it straight away, the sooner you do that the better. Um, really hard if you leave it on there for a long time and that's it that's an espresso and uh, milk for a latte on the verbal jewel boiler and in case you were wondering this is the Baratta Sete 270 WI um, make sure you, you get a decent grinder with these machines that affects the quality a lot um, yeah so we are almost done I'm gonna pour the milk now I'm going to knock, knock down the, the jug just to break down any big bubbles of air and then swirl it around to mix it up and pour. It's a very, very nice, nicely textured milk. I'm always impressed by the milk frothing ability of the jug. It's honestly the, um, one of the best that I've used, and that's the reason why I chose the dew boiler uh, as opposed to other machines. It always gives really, really nice milk and very consistent espresso results. So that's the latte that I made. Hope you can do uh, even better coffees with this. So uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to message me, and I'll see you soon. Thanks.